Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill from the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at the worldwide headquarters of FlightScope in Orlando, Florida, and we're going to be doing a full product review of the FlightScope Mevo, and we have been looking forward to doing that for a while. I'm with yes, my good have. friend Kyle. Good to see you, bud. And this is going to be exciting. We've been talking about this for over a month at we least. Have. We and have. It's come to fruition today. Yes. And we're going to hit some wedges. We're going to hit, I think, a seven iron. And uh, some drivers, of course. Drivers. We're we both hit going to hit some drivers. Hopefully long drivers. <laughs> so one of the cool things we've been wanting to do with this is check our spin rate. This, this bad boy, it checks it, spin rate. It does check the spin rate. And we can do that indoors. We're testing this indoors today, mm -hmm. and we have to put a metallic strip on the ball. Yeah, a little dot on the ball. A little dot on the ball. But for outdoors. You don't have to. And the reason mm -hmm. behind that, the metallic strip, that's going to recognize the spin right here inside the inside the indoor. Yeah, because you're hitting into a mat, so it yeah. can't track it as long to pick up that exactly. spin rate. Exactly. <laughs> but outdoors, you don't have to have that metallic strip. But so also, we're informed that you just got to just have that metallic strip pointing towards the target when you're hitting also. So we have to remind each other yeah. when we do we'll get this. A, we'll get a I'm, few practice I'm sure we'll it. have to remind each other. <laughs> so, all right. All yeah. right, well, let's get started. Okay, Kyle, we're going to try the 50 degree gap wedge. Um, I usually hit the same around 107 to 112. I yeah, hit about a pretty that, good about stock. That. Um, we've got the same recording from the app, which is absolutely cool. Not just recording the data, but it's actually recording your swings, which for me, I might not want. Who wants to remember those terrible swings? Yeah, and then we're showing us from FlightScope too. It's got the functionality where you can draw lines, draw a circle, and you can look at your swing plane, which is really cool. Well, so. for people that have a nice plane like you, but <laughs> I don't want you know, too many lines. All right, let me try this. I'm just do a stock swing, nothing crazy. Oh, you hit that well. 113, and was, you peppered that. I did. So I'm you gonna... hit that. Now, it's a great thing that you'll see on the video here. Neil's got to make sure in indoors only that that gray dot, that metallic dot, is facing towards your target because that's going to pick up the backspin. Yep, the spin rate. Yep, you're exactly right. And so far, I haven't forgotten to do that yet. Boy, that is... That's really, that's right on. That's right with that 50 degree. Yeah. All right, All well, right. let's see how the amateur does with this. So again, I'm going to remember to uh, put that metallic facing at my target. There you go. All right, you sure you're good there, Neil, standing? Yeah. So much faith. All right. So, so we also got, they, they told us also to have this about five feet to seven feet behind the ball. Yep, so, so you guys can't see it on the video, but it's standing right there. You actually sit it on the box mm -hmm. that you... Um, Buy, get the product well, that, with. that's for this because hey the mat we're on is about the same height when that you're is. out on the range you can actually just put it on the ground it can be level oh, all right yeah. there you go mm -hmm. all right so let's see one i'd like to say i hit this about 115 120 easily yeah 115 easily. 120 yep but my shanks only go about 60. oh my gosh <laughs> that s word is terrible that i hit a little fat well, I didn't. I mean, I felt a little high in the face, but I pulled it. Yeah, that's why. I pulled it. That's, that's accurate, though, for what. Yeah. Because I mean, when we played last week, that's, you pulled a couple and they went further. Yeah. So. Well, you know, that's the amateurs. That's what we do sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to make a good swing here. That I hit well. Yep, yep that that's stock. Good swing. And there. that's right down that the middle. That was really so. good. All, All right, right, so seven irons it is. Seven irons it is. Let's try it out. All right, Kyle, I'm going to hit my seven iron. All right. All check right. it out, see what kind of yards I get. I usually hit around 165, 170. I think that's about spot on. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So got a little metallic sticker lined up. I'm ready to go. It's 163, so just a, just a hair off. Not a hair. Bad. A little thin. A little thin? All right. All right. I bet that had higher spin rate, too. Oh, so Well, we'll have the data to tell. Well, us. we will have the data to tell because, I mean, I've noticed with a lot of my shots is that they have sometimes a tendency, I feel like I hit them pretty well, but they'll balloon out. So that'd be an interesting thing to look at with the, with the Mevo to see if I'm really, if that's what's happening. Yeah, exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Hit another one. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty it right good. there. That's yeah. it right there. Yeah. So, all right, time all right. for the uh, amateur to make a fool of him. I mean, hit test this product. 
hopefully not a fool of myself, going to remember to put that line there. So usually. It's right around the same numbers usually. Yeah, I would say, you know. 170 ish. 170, 175, mm -hmm. just a little bit. So, all right. All right. All right. So well, hopefully nice a good stock swing. swing. Yeah. Nice stock swing. What? I'm amateurs. Let's see if an amateur can do a stock swing. Toad a little bit. Fact. All right, that's a good Fact. miss. Uh. That's a, I'll take that miss. Hopefully there wasn't water in front of the green. So what's cool too is hey, you could look at um, if you were indoors, you can look at the ball flight on that too. It shows yeah. that app. It shows you the ball flight. Yep. So I could definitely tell I hit that fat. I mean that's. Yeah. I mean to hit it, my stock, I got to hit it in the center of the yeah. club face, and that's that's frustrating for amateurs. Mm -hmm. to, you feel like you make a halfway decent swing, and then. Well, you're also playing AP twos. You know, you could be playing something that's a little bit more forgiving, right? They are forgiving, Neil. We're not going to talk about this again. Okay. That felt pretty good. Oh. So it sounded like you hit a little behind. Yeah, it to I, me. I think I did hit a little bit behind. I hit it better on the face, but because I hit behind it, I lost some yardages. So. Okay. All, All right. right. That's real. On to the That's drivers. Real. <laughs> On to the drivers. All right. All right. It's going to be fun, Kyle. We're going to hit the drivers now. I'm ready to see what the numbers say on this. I hope I hope my swings are a little bit better than that seven iron. Uh, you're going to you're going to be fine. Oh, you're not going to be fine. Well, if it doesn't, I'm going to edit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I'm, I'm interested in the spin rate with this bad boy because yes. that is important to see where it's spinning the launch Especially angle. Especially for the driver. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, like I know I swing between 100 and 105 miles an hour. So ideally, yeah, somewhere between 2100 to 2500 spin rate yep. would be would be ideal. ideal. Would so. be ideal. All right, let's see what All you right. put out there. Usually hit it between 250 and 260 carry. Yep, so. I think that's perfect carry. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Well, I mean, it's right on the money. <laughs> right on the money. Great right. swing. Really good swing. All right. Again, Neil making sure that he puts the uh, gray dot facing straight out at the target. There we go. It's really not a big deal to do that either. I was, I was kind of interested to mm -hmm. see how that would work, but. It's not a problem at all. And it yeah. makes sense that it's gotta be done indoors, but outdoors you don't have to do that, which is amazing. That is cool, that is cool. And it's well worth it to be able to see the spin rate, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can, I'll just see if I do that again, I'll take that all day long. You were 0.8 off. All right, man. I tell you, I need to take this to the course. You're supposed to be a course. PGA professional. All right, I'll take that. Now, now you're going to hit it like 285 and I'm, show me your muscle, and I'm fine with that. That's okay. All right. Well, I'm that is see. true. I am going to show you my muscles. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I got to make up for those seven iron. All right. All right. Time for the uh, time for the drivers. Yeah. So, um, you're gonna. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I know your numbers. You, you carry this thing like in my bag. Yeah, <laughs> like 270. You usually drop a UPS package over my ball in the plane. Well, I hope you so. let me know about it too. So let me see. Uh, occasionally. Let me see that confident swing where right. you usually hit it 270, 275 in the air. Okay. Hit it high in the face. Just a little bit off there. A little high in the face. Yeah. So. All right. Where's that other ball? All right, so Kyle's going to tee. You got to grab a tee here. Yeah, he's got to tee it up. He's putting the metallic sticker. All right, so uh, honestly, it wasn't the best swing. I'm, again, I just, I'm not coming from the inside again. And something with a video. You definitely would see the line. I would probably see it. there coming a little bit outside in. I think I'm going to swing. I'm going to try to be smooth on smooth. this one. And I'll probably hit it further. Better, much better. Yeah, swing. you stayed a little bit more behind that one. Much better a swing. Better. So, um, I know you hit it further, but I mean that's very accurate for how you did miss it. That, that's not your. I did the, the ones you absolutely yep. crushed. But yep. That was good. So. All right. So, what's your final thoughts on the uh, Mevo Flight Scope? I am really impressed with this Mevo product, especially this app. I mean, this app to video it and then capture all your data and you got it all on one screen. Are you kidding me? I mean, and had the spin rate. It's it's a, it's a special piece of equipment, and for the price point that it's at, it's I around mean, five hundred bucks, something like that. So I mean, you, I mean, 
really, are you kidding me? And it's giving you numbers. They were telling us here at Flightscope that the numbers are very comparable to their higher end model. Yeah, they're X, high end. X3. Um, mm -hmm. So that's just remarkable. For 500 bucks, you can take this out. Little, little product here. It's not even that big. And no, you, it's like the size of a rangefinder. Yeah, and it's give you these numbers, and you can. It's just incredible. I, I give it two thumbs up. I'm, I'm more proud. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be great, but it, it, it exceeded our expectations. It absolutely exceeded our expectations. So, hey, to see more great videos and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.